Hello, hello, good morning, happy Monday. So today I wanna to talk about working with deities. I think it's a really kind of important topic to talk about right now. I think a lot of people are interested in getting into magic and knowing what it's like to work with a deity if you haven't already. And maybe I'll give you a different perspective on what deities even are. So if you go back in history, you know, every culture has some kind of like greater something, right? But if you really pay attention to the stories of each deity, they are actually in relationship to what those human beings were going through at the time. So those deities be begin to become constructed um, by what's happening. So in that sense, they are created by people. They're created by our thoughts. And what it's like, it's like you take, you're given the, the best aspects, right? What you do is you take the best aspects of life, and then these deities begin to play out those stories. And so when you're able to have these kind of almost near perfect ideas, and you focus your energy onto that, when you're trying to get through um, some kind of tr trial or tribulation in your life, that energy reflects itself back and begins to work for you. All right. And the reason why we personify them so much is because then they begin to work in a way that we understand. All right. So if you look at, um, that's a good example. A every deity has a story like Kali, um, Kali and Sekhmet. And there's another one that are all kind of similar um, deities. They all have a destroying aspect and they also have a great mother aspect. So Kali is the aspect of Durga. And and this is of course in the Hindu um, in the Hindu group of deities. And she comes down, destroys everything, and then becomes the great mother. So that, if you look at this, you have to look at the symbolism of what that really means. Coming down to destroy, getting rid of essentially your ego, and then nurturing you and making you grow into something greater. Now, doesn't that sound very similar to when people um, say they go into the military, that they break you down to build you back up? It's something like that. So pay attention to what these deities are about. Another deity um, where you can tell that they're created by the people, um, Erzuli Freda and then Erzuli Dantor. Those are sisters. And it's actually a triple goddess combination because there's also the mother, which is also an Erzuli. And one sister is dark skin, the other one is light skin. Freda is light skin, um, Dantor is dark skin. And they have their own little story. Freda, of course, spent time in Europe um, to come later and almost kind of take her dark, her dark skin sister's husband. So if you listen to it, they have, it's like the stories of what was actually happening, especially um, in Haiti and different areas in the diaspora, what was actually happening uh, where you had these mixtures happening. So they started to create deities around it and trying to create great stories around it. And and Freda is all about love, and Dantor is too. But there's a, it's a different kind of strength, and they are helpful deities because the energy that's been imbued into them are about love, are about uh, Freda's um, known to be a crier, very weepy, um, sweet, loves sweet things, all these different things. But you have to pay attention to the stories of the deities, surrounding the deities, you can tell that this is a human construction. So if you're following me, when you're actually working with deities for, for whatever reason, if you want to work with a deity, study their story. Study their story, understand the context, and start to pull out the symbolism. See what each, each thing really means. So you want to break it down into, into what are they really talking about. So like with Freda, Azuli, Freda is a great example because it's kind of like this light skin, dark skin thing. And so I found that in order for me to actually begin to know her, I actually had to update her story because, because this story 
I had to take it to that next level because if I'm a part of that light skin story and I'm feeling her come through, then I need to see her in a deeper way. And therefore, I actually had to create a larger aspect to her story in which now I can imbue that you know onto her and now she's working with me and that's what they are what they what deities really are are aspects of you they're aspects of your life you know no matter who you're working with Oya um, she's over the marketplace and she's also over um, that kind of warrior spirit um, working with her is very interesting because um, we had to you know we had to we had to fight you know that's an aspect of me that I had to really kind of meld um, meaning that meaning I kind of had some conflicts within myself and I had to fight and once we once we got our, our fight out everything's been cool ever since then so each of these deities have a story a collective energy they they connect to our ancestors um, and this is, you know, if you want to go, no matter where you are, if you're Irish, you want to work with those Celtic deities, whichever ones come forth or, you know, kind of bring your attention, it really doesn't matter. The ones that you are attracted to are the ones that you should work with. Um, and you should start doing your research. Look for what's going on in your life. Look for what you're hearing. All the deities that I've worked with, um, in my experience, really have come to me. It's like I've heard their name, I've heard something, and then I had to do the research on them, and then I had to find out what they were about, and I could see, oh, wow, yes, this actually pertains to what I'm going through right now. And then I start to learn more about them and learn their stories and understand their context and then see how um, this energy that my ancestors have essentially imbued and left for me, how can I, and that's within me as well, how do I now activate it and, and allow it to work for me? That's what this is about. It's like energy that our ancestors have imbued and imbued and imbued. And now we can activate it within us and allow it to work for us. That is what magic really is. And that is what we do for each other as people um, when we create these deities. Because we really are the creators of these deities. Um, and it's a collective energy that we all can share. And that's why it's so important to have great relationships with them and share that love because it's like it's like we are all one in that sense. Um, and we are what we give to them, we the more greatness that we give to them, the more the next person, the next person can benefit because it's all aspects of us, right? So you want to give them as much love. And appreciation as possible because it's a it's it's a part of who you are so um you know i clearly you can tell i'm not speaking about anything as far as monotheism because that is a grand limitation to me um as to who we are and so but if you start to understand what we're talking about what i'm saying you start to understand okay well what does that represent? What do these particular um, deities represent in monotheism? Because it's not just one. Even though a religion might have one deity, um, each deity really is quite different because it holds a different vibration and it holds a different name um, and therefore it holds a different function. And you have to understand its function and how it's interacting with you. So if, you're, if, so if your deity is abusive and um, you have to go my way or I will bring you pain uh, maybe you don't want to work with that deity but there are other deities that are not like that so you want to start to and, and if and if you and if you do want to work with that deity maybe it's because you need to address an abusive aspect within yourself maybe you're abusing yourself in some ways and if you want to work with that you begin to heal that so um, that's they're always an aspect of you and you need to start to learn their stories really read how are they interacting with me how are they interacting with the world and then how can um, they work for me and they'll work for you based off of your appreciation for that aspect of you alright so I hope that makes sense if you guys have any questions about it 
any kind of thing that I talked about. This is kind of like the, just to kind of get your palate wet, really. Because you can go so much deeper into this and 10 minutes isn't going to cover it all. But if you have any other questions about it, let me know. So how do you work with these? You know, I can give you some specific things. It's I'll, I'll offer depending on if there's interest. If there isn't, I'll leave it alone. I'll do my thing and I'll be happy as can be. <laughs> All right. Okay. My website is kikisinza.com. Just opening up this dialogue, How to Work with Deities. Okie dokie. Bye-bye.